Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, as we're practicing our social distancing, we're gonna be making some chicken wings on the Kamado Joe Big Joe using the Joe Tisserie and the Napoleon Grill Basket. This is like the total Kamado Joe fanboy video. So I'll put links in the description to all that stuff below. Hopefully you are out there looking out for each other and still grilling some really good food. So we're gonna show you my method for spinning wings on the Kamado Joe. I forgot to complete the like fanboy trifecta. I've got Kamado Joe, Joe Tisserie, I command those three things and then add to that the Napoleon grill basket. So yes, covering all of my bases here. I'm just gonna give kind of a brief synopsis and then I'll show you how, how I do everything. Really, it's pretty simple. You've got your jotisserie, you put it on. You get the grill up to 400 degrees. That's the temperature that I go to. You get your wings in the basket. I would highly suggest that you like oil down the basket first. It'll make your life a lot easier afterwards. Um, get your wings in there. You're pretty much gonna go for one hour at 400 degrees. You can put uh, like a wood junk in if you want a little bit of a smoke. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use, um, I don't know what I'm gonna use today. We'll see. Maybe some hickory maybe some cherry, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll put a wood chunk in as we're spinning for an hour. I'm actually not gonna season them. I'm using a dry rub. I'm going with lemon pepper. So what I've found is that that basket actually kind of takes the rub off. Whatever rub you're using just kind of usually gets annihilated by the basket. A wet rub has a little bit better luck, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of oil up the chicken wings, put them in the basket, have them go for an hour as soon as they come out. As soon as they come out, when they're still kind of greasy, I'm gonna douse them with some lemon pepper, shake them up, and then that'll be enough for them to stick. So that's my method, really simple. I've had awesome results with that. They get nice and crisp, absolutely perfect. Um, one tip with, you might be wondering like with the eye command, how I use the eye command. I actually attach the pit probe to the dome probe um, of this Kamado Joe. So on the inside here, I've got the pit probe attached um, on the underside to that dome probe right there. So that way, you know, it's, it's not in anywhere or anything like that. Okay, here's a little pro tip, a jotisserie pro tip for you. Hopefully this will focus. There we go. Now, can you see this little mark right here? I've got one on either end, if you can see that here. So what I did is I took this place it in the grill, and then you mark right on the inside of the jotisserie on either side. Some people do this with a marker, but that wasn't very permanent. So I just kind of like etched mine with, I think a nail or something like that. So now I know these are the two points at which I want to center whatever meat or basket I'm putting on here. So that's a little pro tip. We don't have any spray, so I'm going to use olive oil and some paper towels to just kind of try to cover the basket as best we can in oil. So get that nice and coated in some oil. These things take a beating. These little like paddles that keep everything spinning around, they get pretty dirty. These things, I know what you're wondering, are these things a pain to clean? Yeah, they can be a pain. So this will help oiling it down and then really just soaking it afterwards helps a ton. So if you just cover it in soap and then come back in a little bit, it'll clean up a little bit easier. I also use like a plastic bristle brush to clean and that has done a really good job historically. Next is gonna be getting our wings open. And like I said, since I'm doing a dry rub, I am going to not put anything on them other than some oil, put them in the basket, Go for an hour, very simple. Okay, so we just finished with our olive oil. We're not gonna do the rub, you can. To me, it's just been a big waste because most of it gets knocked off. So I just do it with the olive oil, let them cook all the way for an hour, take them out, rub them down because I don't wanna waste all that rub. Get a burp it. Oh yeah, baby. Now this basket is not hot, but everything else is very hot. Our command should be turning off soon. There it goes. 
get this rolling. A little spinning. Get a wood chunk. Just gonna do one wood chunk here. This is some pecan. We're gonna toss it right on the top of our fire. Okay, so we're pretty much good to go here. We are gonna let this roll for one hour. See you in one hour. Okay, it's been exactly one hour and the wings look just amazing. So I'm gonna yank those off. We're gonna bring them inside. And we're gonna do three different dry rubs. So I've got three bowls set up here. We'll do our three dry rubs. As soon as we pull them off, we'll put them in the bowls get them covered in our different rubs that we have, kind of get them shaken up and then we'll be good to go. They smell amazing. Okay, just start moving. All right, lemon pepper going on here. And I know that we look kind of dumb going this fast, but I'm telling you, they dry up so quickly. And I also love lemon pepper, so it's like you can't, you can't do too much lemon. Can you really do too much lemon pepper? Come on. All right. So I'll review the spices that we used. That was a great success. Good work. And of course, lemon pepper. Okay, so that was one hour at 400 degrees on the jotisserie. They come out nice and greasy. Hit them with whatever rub you're gonna use right after that. I, I like to go quick before they kind of dry off. Let's go ahead and try one. See how crispy the skin is. Mm. Oh yeah. And it's got that little bit of the smoke flavor from the pecan that I put in there. Lemon pepper's good, skin is good, nice and dark and crispy. I know the chewing sounds are probably disgusting, so sorry about that, but man, these are so good. Very easy to do. The basket is dirty. I'll hit it with some soap and scrub it down and you know let it sit for a while. It'll be fine to clean. But these wings, so easy to do, so good. I think they're perfect, very, very easy. Go out there, get yourself a jotisserie, get yourself a Napoleon basket. I'll put links in the description below. I got both of mine from the Atlanta Grill Company as well as uh, these rubs as well. They'll do a deal a couple times a year. Definitely keep an eye out around Black Friday, but they had like a Father's Day seal. Wow, Father's Day deal. And I think they do a 4th of July as well where they put a bunch of rubs on sale for 60 bucks. Napoleon basket on sale for I think around 60 bucks and the jotisserie, depending on which size you have, will also go on sale. So keep an eye out. Again, this is my favorite way to do wings. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.